Dr. Sue Sisley joins us August 12th for the Global Cannabis Research Summit in Princeton, New Jersey. And in case you missed Dr. Sisley and her legal team on our last online event, we got an update on the fight to open doors to cannabis research. What's the update in terms of trying to accelerate research around cannabis here in the U.S.? Oh, wonderful to be with you. Thank you for the kind invite. This schematic, I think, really says it all. Like, these are the excessive layers of government red tape. Each of these boxes represents different government agencies that you have to get approval from. And um, and that's why these studies take so long to, to, to complete, because you just, you've got to navigate all these obstacles and it takes forever. Our job was to get the court to see that this should have taken months, not years, and that it was just simply beyond the pale for uh, the federal government after having invited uh, Scottsdale Research Institute and the rest of the general public to apply for these applications to then just sit on them and do nothing for years after collecting the application fee and the good press for having started all of this. We were asking for the government just to take the very ministerial step of saying, hey, Scottsdale Research Institute applied for this uh, manufacturing registration. We're soliciting uh, public comment on, uh, on Scottsdale Research Institute's um, application. And that goes in the Federal Register and that then starts a series of deadlines in the statutes and regulations. And so we thought that if we could just move the ball across that line, we would start to see, we would sort of trigger the administrative process and there would be, you know, a natural follow through until finally we had a grant or denial of uh, SRI's application. And if it was a grant, great. Then Dr. Sisley goes and, and does her research and, you know, we all live happily ever after. If it was denied, that would be unfortunate, but at least we would have a decision that we could then challenge in court and and get right. We got what we asked for, um, um, which ultimately resulted in the processing of uh, cannabis manufacturer applications for research, not just Scottsdale Research Institute's application, but all of the applications. Um, our fight continues. Um, we filed a new lawsuit. It's a Freedom of Information Act a lawsuit we're alleging and we can confirm that there was instructions from the Department of Justice to the Drug Enforcement Administration to not go forward with the 2016 program and that in fact it was illegal and we are asking a court to make um, the memorandum which encapsulates those instructions available under the Freedom of Information Act. This memorandum that, that Matt is talking about is incredibly important. It sets the law for the entire executive branch, and it's been secret for years. We're hoping to be able to sort of uh, uh, make it public, as it should have been from the beginning. We, we just want to thank you for allowing us to present this material, because it's important for people to know uh, about the, the, the relentless governmental barriers that have been blocking this word but we need the the help of your viewers we need them to become aware of this litigation to start following it and helping us keep pressure on the government to to dismantle this monopoly once and for all and finally license other growers join us in princeton new jersey august 12th for the global cannabis research summit register at cannabisresearchsummit.com